Welcome to our immersion room. Uh, I'm Nolan Ackerman and behind the camera is Keith Weichel. Uh, we work in the analytics and data science department at the Kellogg Company. And what we wanted to show today was um, our technology we put in place in what we're calling our analytics immersion room. And the concept in this room is we've actually had three different projectors that are displaying a Tableau visualization that we've designed. And we wanted to cover a couple items here. One is how we use Tableau and had to think about how we were gonna actually design a visualization in Tableau to fit on these three projectors. And also talk a little bit about the technology itself. So one of the things we wanted to show here is a visualization that we actually created in Tableau Public in 2015. When we designed it at that time, we made a long form viz style, which is basically um, a really long visualization that you have to scroll through as you make selections. And you see a lot of different visualizations that are designed this way, but one of the nice things we have with these three projectors is we've really opened up the real estate in Tableau to be able to show a lot of visualizations at the same time. So instead of using a long form viz, we can actually take that long form, pivot it, show everything at the same time, which is great for being able to connect context across this uh, visualization. So a couple of things that we had to do in Tableau to get this to work in this particular setup. The first thing is that when we select it on the dashboard, we set it up for 4,000 pixels wide by about 700 pixels tall. This allowed us to have enough area to drop in worksheets and it's fit it perfectly onto these different projectors. Another thing that we had to do for the design is making sure that on these different uh, visualization splits, you can see that as the wall comes together for these two different projectors that are displaying, we have a little bit of a, a gap or an overlap that might occur. So what we do is we set up a little buffer space, about five to 10 pixels on each one of these different worksheets to make sure that we have separation on these different visualizations. Another thing that you have to be aware of, aware of similar to designing a, t a visualization for a tablet, is making sure that things are large enough for people to select and large enough to see. So one of the things that we would do on these drop downs is make them especially large so that as you move this pen to make a selection, because of the resolution of the pen, we want to make sure this is large enough that when you make a selection that you're selecting on the item that you actually want. So in this case, we selected on walleye and everything updated on this visualization. Another thing that we had to be uh, aware of is for the tool tips for the mouse overs, as we're selecting on, for example, different lakes to see how many master anglers that they had for those particular locations, we had to make sure that the mouse overs were actually, uh, uh, the tool tips were actually large enough, using a large enough font that people could see them. Now, the nice thing about this visualization of splitting it across three different screens is that it connects all of this information and you don't really lose your focus of what you selected on. So we see very clearly, we've selected on walleye. We're seeing here that the, the, the different titles, we're actually you know, making sure that we pass over the filtered item that says walleye, so we make sure we have that connection. But it's really clear, having the picture on the first screen carrying across these other screens, that we've selected on that particular species. Now, a nice thing on this also is that on a scatter plot, we use the same kind of methodology here. For these different um, mouse overs or tool tips, we wanted to make sure we were using a very large font so you could see that, you know, people that maybe be sitting in the room could see it from afar. And also making sure that we're um, using highlighted or bold items so that we want to highlight the most important information um, on this scatter plot. Now the technology that we're using for these visualizations are actually three different Epson projectors. Each one of these projectors have their individual IP address and they're all connected by one computer that we actually have kind of hidden under here on a little swing out door. Um, we have one computer that's driving each one of these different projectors. And this computer is just simply hooked up to our network. We have Tableau running on this computer. So we can load our visualizations, connect to our data. And we see several different advantages of, of doing this. For a business meeting, if you wanna have people actually interact with the data, instead of looking at a static PDF or a static PowerPoint, you can have people come up here with multiple pens. We have six pens that go along with this, where multiple people can come up, do mouse over, select on data, drill in, so that you don't have to have a question in a meeting and walk away from it and wait till you get the answer. And then the second thing that's really um, uh, advantageous about using this technology is that because we have such a large amount of real estate here, we can actually build visualizations that have context across the entire viz so that you know if you're selecting a particular product or a business unit or a customer, that carries through and you're not lost in a long form viz by the time you get to the bottom realizing what you've actually selected. 
So this is a, a technology that we've put in place. We're now actively using it. Uh, we wanted to share a little bit about how we modified Tableau to work with it, and then also talk a little about the technology.